Welcome to AM Sports. Of course, it's been a great weekend of uh, you know, twists and turns in sports, in the world of sports. And of course, I'm glad to bring you a big wrap this morning. Let's begin with Kumasi Asante Kotoko, who uh, have their fans still living moments of bliss this morning after what was a good game against Etoile du Sahel, who undoubtedly are giants in the space of the CAF Champions League. Kumasi Asante Kotoko recorded a 2-0 win to cushion themselves ahead of a return leg in two weeks, which uh, could go well and see them qualify for the group phase of the CAF Champions League for the first time in 13 years. Play from Kumasi Asante for winning the game by two goals to nil. That's the first leg of the encounter with the Ford Cell here at the Baba Stadium. And as you can see, all the fans are out uh, of the venue after enjoying what was a beautiful game. The fans also played a very key role in today's game. For the very first time, I've seen the Asante Kotoko fans on their feet from the blast of the whistle to the end of the game, cheering the boys up. And it really paid off uh, for the team. The goal came as early, the first goal came as early as uh, in the second minute when uh, Oka, Augustine Oka slotted in a very beautiful free kick and then uh, Richard Arthur got a second uh, in the second half. And many thought that Sanzo by virtue of the chances that they got, 
should have scored more goals, especially knowing what is at stake when you go uh, to play these Tunisians at their own backyard. But notwithstanding, it was a very good performance from the team and they can be only hopeful of what you, you know, do when they go to Tunisia. If they build on this and go and play as they did here, there is no doubt that Asante Kotoko can make the next stage of the Cup Champions League. Benedict Tawusu reporting from the Baba Sports Stadium. All right, Benedict's report there. Let's do some more within the camp of Kumasi Asante Kotoko because the CEO, George Amwako, has been speaking. Same as the fans who obviously are living on cloud nine after this performance. Um, it was a very difficult game. The Tunisians came with a, a strategy to frustrate our game. And I think they succeeded in doing that. If they had opened up to play football against us, it would have been a different thing. But it's a two legend affair. This is the first one. We've got two goals. Let's see what will happen in two. Oh, very fantastic game. Except for a bit of lapses up front, you know, Abege and his moves. We need to work on that. But I think the boys did very well. Some are saying that the Tunis probably would want to play like that and shock us there. But we believe we are going to hold them there for the first 20 minutes. And after that, we can draw game. We think that for the government. Oh, we are qualifying. We are qualifying. We are hungry for the camp. And we are bringing it back. Uh, they've impressed me with their play. Uh, owing to the fact that this is uh, a young team. A young in the sense that this club of players have been put together in just about two months. And for them to demonstrate this high level of performance, for me, I'm okay. Uh, I'm only hoping that we go to a tour and cause an, an upset. Definitely, Kotoko is going to score there. So, for me, we will stay free. It's incredible to have a boy. Let's turn on with Asante. He did step up to his game. And when um, Yakubo also came up, he saw that he wasn't that sharp and clinical we were expecting him to be. So all that we are saying, I feel okay, guys, they've done very much. But at twice and out of the country, as you all know, they can cross, they can do anything there. But I, I trust my guys, that won't cross upset to them. 